Hello and welcome back to the last tutorial in our C++ login application tutorial series. So today we'll get into doing our sign up system, which shouldn't be too difficult since we, it's almost exactly similar to the login system. Okay, so first off, we're gonna create a new label and uh, let's call this welcome. So we're gonna, uh, instead of uh, in the beginning going to the login we're gonna go to welcome and then check from there if the user wants to sign up or login so over here going to std cout uh, welcome to my login application or anything if you if you want uh, that we I guess we could do std and line std and line like that and after that we're going to check uh, mm, see, see out what would you like to do sort of like that and then the same thing here uh, like that, and now we're going to check. Uh, so, so if they click one or type in one, uh, it's going to be login and sorry. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the last tutorial in our C++ login application tutorial series. Today we're going to do our login system, which shouldn't be too difficult since it's almost identical to the login system, only we're checking a few different results from the service. Okay, so first off, we're gonna sh uh, create a new label uh, called welcome, and then here we're gonna check uh, or ask the user what they want to do if they want to log in or sign up and a greet user as well. So we're gonna move this statement over here. And then we're gonna ask what they would like to do. So what, uh, I guess we could do, uh, please choose one op option. So something like that. And then add these two to make it more spacious and then we're gonna do some of these again okay so if the user enters sorry if the user enters one then we will take them to their login and if the, if they enter a two then we're gonna take them to the sign up Then we're gonna do the same thing here and off the back I guess we're gonna do like this something like that so they can enter and now we're gonna create a new variable now let's call this so we can make it a string to make it more compatible and call this uh, up uh, welcome option just to relate Sorry, just to relate to the welcome, welcome label. So we're gonna uh, console in into the welcome option, and now we're gonna check if the uh, welcome option equals one. Then we will go to, go to uh, login. I think yes, login. Else, if welcome option equals oh sorry <laughs> equals 
one and if it equals two go to uh, sign up which you haven't created yet but we will and then else uh, let's go to or come again you can, yeah so if you want you can check for if the if the input value is uh, invalid uh, shouldn't be too difficult yeah yeah in fact you can do this for all all of the projects since we're not really checking if the the input data is remotely compatible but it isn't too difficult so you can do it if you want um, so okay so now we'll go ahead and create the login or sorry, sign up sign up uh, and we're going to clear the screen in the beginning and now we're basically gonna ask for the same things here so username password oh and by the way uh, before we actually enter into the uh, into the welcome option we can actually go ahead and reset the username and password to make sure that they aren't storing any values from the if they sign up and then go to the login uh, area of the application so after we gotten the password and, and username we're gonna call actually made a function here yeah here so I basically just copied the, the login function now now you could make it compatible with both so you can enter parameters and based on that you can uh, uh, get the path to the file but since we're only doing like two scripts for this tutorial I feel like it's okay but if you have a more massive application it can get quite tedious to uh, copy all of these over and over again so I guess it's your choice okay so I basically just took the login uh, function and then I switched out the path to the signup.php and I also have to do this sign up so basically where I had the, the path to the sign up uh, PHP file which was uh, for me CX and PageDoc files but in the URL it's uh, localhost files signup.php and it's the same parameters I believe uh, yeah, username, password, like that. So then we're gonna uh, get the response, I guess. I guess we can do the same response here, since we're still resetting in here. So response is equal to sign up. Oh yeah, I don't think I. Yeah, you have to forward decorate it here. Go ahead and do that, and then sign up, and then the username, username, password, like that. Okay, so now we actually have to change some of the the results we get back. So let's just say if uh, if it's an SQL failure, we can print out the S one. So SQL failed. Uh, this is basically we're gonna read this into the machine and uh, I guess it's easier than checking for user or the system and such so can copy this user already exists and we can call this e1 for exist one and then do the s1 for the skill failure again, copy this, and for the user created, we can do C1. Suc successful creation, uh, just like that. I think that's all. Yeah. Okay. So go back to the the project. And now we're going to check, I guess, if the response 
is equal to I guess we could do this in order so if it's equal to s1 s1 then we're going to sorry uh, we're going to clear the screen I guess we can do it before here yeah just to make it easier and we're going to STC out basically a sprint out as kill fade Failed like that, and then I guess we could. S ah, yeah, I could sleep, sleep for like two, th two seconds, and then go back to Warlocom and do the same thing for the other messages. So if it was already existing, it's E1. E1, you could change this together if you want. Uh, this user already exists. I don't know if it just. Uh, th hmm. Yeah, I think it's just for the username, it's not actually checking the password. So I guess we could just say. This, uh, uh, I, I guess this is okay. So we can do the same thing here and then go to welcome. And then I'll save. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> My keys are a bit broken. Uh, okay, so the next one is the. Uh, Sorry. C1. So if the successful creation. Else if response is equal to C1. Well, I guess since we're sleeping, on every single. Oh my god, okay, sorry. <laughs> if we're sleeping on every single one, we could put this in the end just to make it more. Well, easier, I guess. Oh. Wait, do I have. Oh, I have two welcome, sorry. So. Uh, I guess I can call this whole screen instead. Uh, go to the home like that. Um, yeah. Okay. So uh, if it's C one, hmm, should we go direct to the home or to? I guess it's easier if you just do this. Just to see out uh, this user already. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, so, user successful successfully created. Is it like? I think it's like that. Okay. Uh, and then after that, well, I guess we need actually need to do this. So sleep before, and then we're gonna go to the home inside since the user was created. Like that, and then just to check if it didn't actually return any of these values we're gonna go to all come again well i guess we could do like this and call it unspecified unspecified fail failure Yeah, so now it should work to a, yeah, I guess we can test it out. Well, 
Okay, so welcome to my login application. Please choose one option. Login or sign up. Let's do sign up. Uh, so the username, we're gonna call ourselves. Um, mm, mm. Oh my god. And then the password. One, two, three. And also, uh, make sure there's actually a variety of ways to do so that um, the password actually gets hidden. Uh, I'm not gonna show it in this tutorial, uh, but you could store it into a separate var variable when you're typing in, and then after you basically just change it to uh, the uh, uh, the asterisk sign in a sequence, but it isn't too hard. Okay, so use the successfully created, and then we'll get to the control panel. So we can do the same thing again. We can try and log in, and then username we could try roll one two three wrong. So yeah, and then the one we just created uh, the uh, how was it called? Oh my god, one two three true. So it works. And that's about it for the entire application. Now, there are a bunch of things you can actually make improvements on. Uh, but that's up to you. Okay, so, yeah. Now, of course, you could remove all these debugging system pause messages. Well, I guess here it's kind of necessary. Um yeah that's about it uh i guess i guess i'll see you in the next one goodbye